Hello and welcome to another video of Silkipix Developer Studio Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you a very important tool of Silkipix Developer. It's called the Partial Correction Tool, this one. With this tool, you can do local adjustment in your photograph. Before I show you what how the tool works, I have to do a disclaimer. It is not as sophisticated as Lightroom or Capture One, unfortunately, because in Lightroom or Capture One, you can use every single tool locally. No doubt, I have used it, I loved it, brilliant. However, with a partial collection tool, you can just use whatever exists in, inside the box and that's it, you are stick with them. You don't necessarily have to do a lot of local adjustment if you tr try your best to take your photo in camera properly. Uh, better camera you take, better photo you take, less work you have to do. That's the rule. So with saying that, let's show you how the software works. First of all, I'm going to do a quick um, white balance in this one. Let's say I want to balance between the yellow inside and the and the uh, environment outside so i'm going to go to the multi-source compensation and try to balance let's see i'll go all the way up so that they all look more or less the same it's like a nice fade out from inside to outside so we are done that's good now let's show you the magic in partial correction tool you have um circular correction filter so generally works with the face here you don't have a face but i'm going to show you now let's say you have like a something round other than face you can actually um apply that on those kind of objects you have the gradient tool or they call it add gradual correction filter which is by clicking it automatically apply on something you can always move it left right up and down generally so that's brilliant. It usually works really, really good for um, landscape with the sky. You have a brush tool to obviously do some like a little bit of, uh, you know, let's say you have some area where you wanna um, apply just a little bit, you can do that. I'm gonna get rid of that too. This one is the most important one, generally works for situation like this one. I'm gonna go up a little bit. So how does it work? So add curve, so you can go like that. Because it's important to show you exactly how sophisticated is it, or if it's not good enough. Yeah, that's the whole purpose of this tutorial. I don't mean to say that this software is perfect and it does work properly, but my job is to show you exactly how that works. So as you can tell, it did a very good job. Uh, you can see that it's actually bright outside the line so you can control that by clicking feather and do a little bit of minor adjustment like that and that's it so the white color is actually the lightness so you automatically apply a little bit of lightness you bring it back boom done and finally you have the polygon polygon actually works for generally the building so you can click one two three four five and actually i'm going to show you anyway a one and two three four five and then let's say you want to go all the way up to this much that and that and double click done you bring your feather down and you know exactly where it is that how easy and simple the polygon very very important tool for any kind of buildings or architectural photograph now you can get rid of all of them delete selected filter area by clicking this one we still have the curve i'm gonna keep the curve just to show you the rest of the tools now you added your mask or curves Step number two would be controlling your feather. Step number three, if you're using brush, you can control your brush size. Step number four, this is where the magic starts. So you have three tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny options. Hard to see, but you can see, you can put your cursor on, you can see the name. This one, you can control color and contrast. So first you have the hue, you can control your hue right there. And then you can control your saturation 
you can control the lightness or brightness whatever way you want to call it and finally you can control the contrast obviously you don't want to add too much that's all for minor adjustment um, option number two is a very 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 important tool let me tell you why it's white balance adjustment generally you can balance the color between uh, two different areas such as inside you have the yellowish look and outside here is actually nice and beautiful color I like it that's my personal choice but let's say you want to make it look exactly same as this one what do you want to do you go to uh, pull it up a little bit to the yellow side and go down a little bit like that and as you can clearly see it started to look a little bit more indoor and outdoor look exactly same you can actually do opposite such as you can click invert so now you can control the other side of the photograph so not there more here and you can go to the blue and it's doing the opposite uh, effect it's actually uh, balancing indoor with the outdoor a little bit so you can either invert it and uh, control your affected areas so now you know how the second tool works is the white balance adjustment the third one which is very important such as you can apply a mask a brush on a name or a person and you can I'm gonna get rid of the inverter and you can blur the area extraordinarily important tool if you want to blur a person or an object extremely important tool I use it a lot especially today's day of privacy and security you don't want to have some people or anything in unnecessary in your photograph and get in trouble later so that's for another story so that what you can do for the pressure cushion tool but there is another uh, extraordinary thing that you can do with your pressure correction tool you can do local color adjustment which by clicking here which is called what select color to be corrected so let's say you selected this area right there no. right and now you can see something you can see that here you have green here you have green too but they are not two different clean and you want to make both of them look exactly the same how you can do that you can click your let's say brush brush the area that you want to be corrected and now you can don't worry about it if you have one single color to be fixed you can just fix the whole area uh, brush the whole area go back to the lightness bring the lightness back so they're both same and now you can just correct this green without affecting any other green in the photograph let me show you so you click the color selection tool click there wait for it you can see in a moment what's going to happen you can pull the saturation up you can change the hue you can go back and forth you can add the lightness you can control the contrast you can also go for the range back and forth that how extremely strong this thing is uh, sometimes those things doesn't work right like I actually really wanted this green to be exactly same as the, this one you can do opposite you can click your brush all over again click your brush on that green pull the lightness back up click on the green and make it stronger make it stronger by controlling your hue now there bam put the lightness back down you see you do have a little bit of balance a little bit of difference now but that's very subtle so the whole objective of this uh, partial correction tool is to control locally your white balance lightness contrast saturation and you can control and correct local colors without affecting the rest of the photograph very important and useful tool i hope this video and this tutorial has been very helpful i'll see you in the next video bye bye